Hi, welcome to SAP Finance course. In this section, we will be looking at automation in SAP Finance. So the important areas where SAP ERP provides automation are automatic payment program, dunning, prepaid expenses accrual engine, electronic bank statement, logbox, and batch jobs. Automate, automate, automatic payment program we have covered earlier in the course. So at a high level in short, what is automatic payment program? This is a program which automates electronic payments to the vendors, to the both external and internal vendors. So what the program does is, once we run the program, we specify like the vendor numbers or a vendor range and the company code and also the payment method, which could be wire transfer or check in the payment program. Once we run the program, program goes and checks each of these vendors, finds out the invoices which are due for payment as per the outstanding in the vendor account and as per the payment terms in the invoices. Prepares a list of all these invoices which are due for payment along with the amount which has to be paid to the vendor. This list it shows on the system so user can see their list, review the list, decide what payment has to be made, what payment should not be made and so on. Once those changes are made, system subsequently make a further run whereby it creates a posting document in which it debits the vendor's account and credits a paying bank or cash account which has been configured. Third, second. Third step, it creates a payment media file. It's an electronic fund transfer file, which could be a TXT or XML file. This file has all the details of vendors, their bank accounts, and the amount which has to be paid to these vendors. Fourth step, it takes these files and places it on the specified SAP directory or location. And from there, we can have an automatic batch job, which will pick up this file once the file is placed there. Like we can have a file watchers installed there. Picks up this file and sends it to the bank. So bank, once it receives the file, process the file and based on details in the file, makes payment to the vendors and sends an acknowledgement back to the company. So this is the automation of the vendor payment process in SAP. In case the automation is not there, the business has to use it, manually go find out the amounts which are outstanding for these vendors, manually prepare a check, manually make an entry of these checks and invoices in the system, manually courier the check and so on. The next automation aspect is Dunning. Dunning again we have discussed earlier in the course. Dunning is basically automatic reminder of outstandings due from the customers to the customers. So again, we set up the Dunning program, we specify the customers, and uh, then the program runs through the bad job automatically at a specified day and specified time. Let's say every week the Dunning program has to run. So the program will go check the customers, see their outstanding, which is due from them, which they have to pay to us find out whether it is overdue, find out also whether a Dunning letter has been sent to them and as per the Dunning procedure which is configured, creates a reminder. A reminder will have the detail of customer number, invoices which are due from the customers, number of days which are due from the customers and all these invoices again electronically through email sent to the customers. So any, a very good functionality to remind the customers about the due or outstanding amount from them so that the collections are on time. Third aspect automation in SP is prepaid expenses. This is handled through accrual engine. This is what we are going to configure and test in this section. Accrual engine. Now, in business, uh, the company may have multiple prepaid expenses. Examples of prepaid expenses are, for example, software maintenance license. You are using an IBM software and the month annual fee for that is 12,000 US dollar. 
So at the time of purchase, licensing of the software, this $12,000 was paid to the IBM. Accounting entry will be prepaid expense in bracket we can write IBM debit to the cash or bank account from where the payment has been made. However, it has to please note that this amount, this amount is not an expense account. This amount of $12,000 US dollar is for the full year. And we are posting this entry in the first month of the year. So both these entries go to the balance sheet, not to the balance sheet, not to the expense account, that is profit and loss account. At the end of the month, that is January, another second entry is made, whereby the software expense account is debited by $1,000. And the prepaid expense account, which was debited earlier, is now credited with $1,000. So, in the balance sheet at the end of the month, we have prepaid expense $9,000, which is on the asset side. Cash has been reduced by $12,000. Prepaid expense is $11,000. And in the profit and loss account, on the debit expense side, we have a software maintenance expense of $1,000. Now, what happens if this has to be done manually? Uh, generally, in a company, these maintenance uh, contracts are in hundreds of number, maybe 100, 200 or 300 numbers. In a glo at a global scale, they could be in thousands of number. So for each of these contracts have to be maintained manually in an Excel. And the amount which has to be debited through a general voucher has to be manually calculated in Excel. And then a general entry has to be posted whereby the software expense account is debited and all these prepaid expense account are credited which is a lot of work manual work so whole this whole of this process gets automated by using the functionality of accrual engine once you configure the accrual engine it runs automatically through a bad job at the end of the month it debits the expenses accounts and it credits a prepaid expense account so this becomes an automatic process next step of Automation is electronic bank statement. This we have not discussed. We will be discussing it in our subsequent sections. Electronic bank statement in short makes the uh, bank module very easy. Uh, the What is required is like you need the business needs to know what is the balance in the bank account in our bank. Let's say it's a uh, Bank of America. So how much balance is there in Bank of America? Now in our books also we have a bank account and how much balance is there in our books, uh, bank of account in our books. Always we will find the two will not match. The reason could be we have issued some checks but not presented. Bank has received some electronic fund transfer but it's not updated in the bank account. Or there could be and number of reasons. So, we have to prepare so what is called bank reconciliation statement. A bank reconciliation statement takes up the bank balance as per bank statement at the beginning of the at the end of the month. Takes and then it takes the bank statement in the SAP or in our books at the end of the month. And then gives reasons for this differences like what are the reasons back checks issued but not presented funds received but not not updated in the interest credited by the debited by the bank and so on. Now this is a manual process. This preparation of bank recognition statement also takes a lot of time. Electronic bank statement dispels the need of this manual process. Once the EBS is uh, implemented uh, electronic bank statement comes from bank to us and it is automatically uploaded in SAP and it gets it updates the bank account in the SAP also there are many clearing accounts like check clearing account AC clearing account wire clearing account which gets automatically clear so it it uh, removes a lot of work uh, manual work which is required in its absence Secondly, it gives a real-time visibility to the bank account or bank balance 
in our bank. Thirdly, it uh, uh, makes the bank reconciliation statement available real time at any time. Bad job is another tool of automation. They, these are basically periodic trans, uh, transactions which can be set up as bad job. So they will run at specified time and automatically do all this work. Lockbox is again a very good functionality. So it works on automating the check received from the customers. So let's take uh, when the checks are received, we may have uh, thousands of customers. Uh, in a week, you might be receiving around 500 checks from customers all over the North America. Now, these checks have to be manually, sequentially entered. Uh, vouchers have to be prepared manually entered in the system and then they have to someone has to go and deposit them in the bank and then we have to wait for cleaning of these checks and reflecting in our bank statement all this process can be automated through lockbox once the lockbox is implemented checks go directly to the bank bank creates an electronic file of the check received this electronic file electronically comes to the sap it gets uploaded in the sap it credits the customer's account debits a bank check account and that's it so when the electronic bank statement comes that will um, update these check clearing accounts we will go in more detail in logbox automation in later sections so in the next lecture we will look at how to configure and test accrual engine uh, prepaid expenses automation using accrual engine